The two teams are out there, both captains in the middle. Of course, Craig Ross deputising for the uh, missing Josh Casey, who is here today, and uh, Jerome Okimo for the visitors. The referee this afternoon is Mr. Gary Parsons. His assistants are Colin Hobbard and Sean Jenkins. And the fourth official this afternoon is Robert Evans. Of course, a 12.30 kickoff. This is the final game of the season. It's home for his error. It's Denon Lewis now on the left-hand side. Former Woking player, of course, was here five years ago. It's a low strike away. It's a, it went through with a Woking player, which took the sting out of the Nathan shot. Nathan Collier he got that goal at Sullinghall Moors not too long ago. In comes the throw up, goes Gehring for the header, and it forced Shelby into a save to push it over this crossbar, and it's out for a working corner. How much would Ben Gehring like a goal today, eh? Yeah. It's, it's public knowledge that he's, he's not continuing his work. And this is his 98th for the club, scored six goals this time. Cooper right towards the back post, up goes Cook. It's going to fall to Kretschmar, who went for goal, and uh, sort of sliced his effort wide of the mark. Woking just knocking on the door in the last couple of minutes. Good, good pressure from Woking there, and uh, that's fresh mark in there when they were chasing promotion. Lofthouse, Cooper nicks it off him, has Robinson to his right. Just to play it through two, three Wollstone players. Lovely touch from Lofthouse, finds Robinson now, has Ashford and Kretschmar in the box. Robinson still goes, and it will be a free kick to Woking in a very promising area just on the edge. Features Ashley Charles and Denon Lewis. Charlie Cooper. Low cross is headed in! 1 0 to Woking. Max Kretschmar's header. Or did Robertson get the last touch? Not too sure. Devastating ball from Cooper into the box. <laughs> One hand in the air from Dyer right towards the front post. It's straight through the face of goal, and even Ben Gehring completely missed it. Ashford eventually gets it away for the cards. Up to Cooper will sweep up for Woking. Locates Lofthouse. Comes in field now, the Oxford Loney. Locates Robinson, gets the strike away, and it bounced off a player. Gehring's there! Gehring's offside, sadly. It was a save from Shelby, a deflected effort. Located Ben Gehring towards the back post. And I think everyone just <laughs> stares straight at the linesman and expected what was going to be shown. He's in that area, Ian. Yeah, he's in that yeah, area. He was there, he was there wasn't he? And he, uh, <laughs> he had his arms up for the cameras. At the moment, an 18th minute own goal by Alex Dyer has given the home side the advantage. Cooper, right footed, it's in towards the edge of the six yard box, missed everyone, heavy touch. And it's cleared away in the end, across from Harbottle. And he brings it away into midfield again. Wilston just stringing a nice little passage of play together here, Ian. Yes, and I think, um, I think Robinson a bit. Collier gives it away, it slipped into Ooh. the middle by Low Everton. Here's Hughes who finishes with his left foot. And Woking, masters of their own downfall there, giving the ball away in midfield. Nice little couple of passes through the middle of the Woking defence. And Charlie Hughes thumps in his first goal of the season. It's Woking 1, Wilston 1. Yeah, and I actually, you know, you look back a minute from there or 30 seconds from there. On top of the ball and Scott tries to check his run, flicks it back in field to Sonny Low Everton. Plenty of blue and white shirts forward as the Watford low knee tries his luck. Always, though, well wide of Craig Ross's right hand post and it remains one. Well, eventually, well, pushes him wide under pressure from Ashley Charles and Ross with a nice little cushion pass out to Collier. Now back into the midfield area, Charlie Cooper switches it out towards this near side, looking for Robinson, who took it down really nicely. Zach Robinson gets it back onto his right foot, challenge comes in, now breaks it a Kretschmar. Kretschmar inside the box, lays it square out towards the far side, shot is deflected behind, and it's going to be a Woking corner as a switch from right to left resulted in an opportunity for Charlie. He's had a very lively opening, 40 minutes for Woking, out swinging corner from Charlie Cooper. In it goes, up goes Jack Cook, drops into Shelby, can't quite get there, it's not away yet, and it's off the line. And uh, Woking denied a, a goal, it was Kretschmar had the effort on target, and again, Wilston getting bodies in the way as Woking look for a, a second goal and to go back in front, Hamblin plays it forward. Here's Robinson again, nice first touch, he's onside, lays it square into the path of Ashford who hits it on the turn and it's over the bar and into the Kingfield Road end and Woking fans applaud their efforts from the team in the last 60 seconds or so. Cooper had a chance blocked, um, Kretschmar had a shot cleared off the line and then Ashford shot over, it remains 1-1. Jack Cook with a long throw, Woking shooting left to right as we look, right to left on the stream, more importantly towards the Leslie Gosden stand. Header there from Charlie Cooper, nodded away by 
Hughes. Lofthouse goes to ground but locates Ashford. Ashford 20 yards out. It did get a deflection, was dipping late. And uh, Jake Askew. Central defenders are forward, only handling a Lofthouse back for Woking. Charlie Cooper on corner kick duties once again. It's right towards the middle of the goal. Askew didn't get there, but guess who did? Ben Gehring has scored on his final appearance for Woking. Corner in from Charlie Cooper. Askew caught in no man's land. And there was Ben Gehring, his seventh goal for the club, likely to be his last. His 98th appearance, and he will cap it all off with a goal. Five minutes into the second half, working back in front, they lead by two goals to one. Going it today, they've... Uh... Okimo chips one into the box, looking for Low Everton. Pulls its way to Gondo, deflected effort, and Craig Ross was happy to see that go wide. I think that came off either Woking back in front in the second half. Gehring locates Jack Cook, who's played so many games in central defence together, these two. Could be their last and will be their last in a Woking shirt. Low Everton wins it back for Wilston. Looking for options, has to chip it forward. Hughes at the minute is onside. Craig Ross comes out. Oh, goodness me. I think Craig Ross may have got a boot in the face. Hughes had to go for it, must be said. Woking wanted the flag to come up. It didn't arrive. And uh, I think both player and goalkeeper had the right to go for the ball there, but I think it's Craig Ross who's just come off the worst. They did, and it? but it was a nasty-looking collision for mm. both. But I think Ross was going for it with his head. It's and a bouncing yeah, ball, and a boot, wasn't it? And a boot, went, boot and leg went up there as well. So are up to their feet. Charlie Hughes just wobbling around a little. It will be a yellow card to the Wilson striker. Time for the ball from the young fullback, but the danger's not over for Woking. The stone's still coming forward now with Denner Lewis with space to shoot. But his effort was straight at Craig Ross. The two strong moves to Eastley nil, and Yeovil Town nil. Stockport one at the minute. Go through the players in just a second as Gongo goes down and the referee points to the spot. Soft penalty, soft challenge from Lofthouse, and the referee is pointed to the spot. Ryan Gondo goes down, and Wilson have a chance from 12 yards to level it again. Ian, well, firstly, you saw, I mean, you know, I've just seen it again. You know, Lofthouse was pulled down. Gondo with his back to goal. Will turn now. Gondo from the spot sends Craig Ross the wrong way. The man who won the penalty scores the penalty and goes off to celebrate. Wilson a level and uh, a slightly strange <laughs> <laughs> celebration, it must be said. They don't care, they're level. It's Woking 2, Wilson 2. That is the um, most bizarre goal celebration where even that was chaotic. So, uh, from the Wilston goal, his through ball is blocked and here's Cooper back to Robinson who fancies a run at this defence into the penalty area just on the right edge of it, plenty of red and white shirts in the middle, it's a deep cross, header comes up, bandits uh, uh, over the bar from Max Kretschmar, last touch came off the Woking, probably about two or three yards in from the touchline, about level with the edge of the Wilston box, it's whipped in towards the near post and it's deflected behind and uh, that was a tremendous delivery from Charlie Last Cooper. couple of minutes in. Yes, and, uh, you know, firstly, the Astra chance, you know, that from the free kick, it was... Um... Here's Charles, 30 yards from the Woking goal, plays it out to Mendy on the far side, Jacob Mendy, nine league goals for him this season, tries a left-footed shot, and Craig Ross has to get down and push it past his left-hand post. There didn't look, look a lot on there for the Wilston right wing-back, but he got a good shot off. And Craig Ross had to make a decent save. Yeah, and you have to say it's end-to-end -end stuff there that Ross did well to get down low and turn it around his post. In swinging corner in towards the near post. Woking bodies have got in the way initially, but it's picked up again by Akimo. Shot driven in, and it's 3 2 to Wilston. The corner just seemed to catch Woking a little bit off guard. It was played short in towards the near post, cleared away. And again, Wilston go into the corner to uh, perform their celebration. It was a really nice hit, low into the bottom right corner, past Craig Ross, and with 17 minutes to go, it's Woking 2, Wilston 3. And you have to say, if there was doubts about the Wilston second goal, there was no doubts about that, it was a lovely goal. Lays it into the path of Ashley Charles, he's dispossessed though well, and Freeman finds Robinson on this uh, near side. Zach Robinson cuts in field, though ran into 
Blue and white shirts once again, and it slid through to Gondo. Gondo's on a hat-trick just outside the Woking box. Gets it back onto his right foot, uh, tries to square it to Lewis. It runs over to Low Everton. Everton inside the D, shoots, and it's 4-2 to Wilston. And Woking are staring down the barrel of a seventh straight home defeat to end what has been a miserable season for the Cards. They've conceded four goals at home again, and their defence just sliced open. 15 minutes to go. Out to Hamlin over on the far side, who's now playing as a more regulation fullback rather than the wing back who played for the first hour or so. Shot comes in from Cooper, and it's wide of the right hand post. He thought it was worth a dig on the right. Um, and it looks like Joe Leslie is over on the left-hand side as here come Wilston. Again, ball out towards Mendy on the right-hand side. He's into the box, trying to get on his left foot. Shoots, really good save by Craig Rosson at the moment. The Woking defence is absolute Swiss cheese. Wilson are carving forward. They're going straight through them whenever they want to. And at the moment, that, uh, that Woking defensive setup is hot. The ball. 4 0 up at home to Weymouth. All the shot are back in front at Kings Lynn. They now lead 4 3. Solihull Moors 2 0 up at home to Eastley and Stockport 1 0 up at Yeovil. Down this right hand side, Woking uh, coming forward. Ashford oh. lets one go, but curled away from the Wilston goal, and it'll be a goal. KBC Surrey website and the BBC Sports app. We thank you very much for your, uh, for your companionship and your support over the course season. I know the seasons haven't been great but hopefully we've been able to sort of keep things relatively entertaining as Woking with a chance here for Leslie and it's just wide took a nick off a Wilson defender that just pushed it past the post and Charlie Cooper will have a corner probably his last set piece of the season let's see if Woking can nick a late goal set play on nice little bit of control there by the Watford Loney Dalby back out to Leslie who chips wow. it in and it's straight into the arms of Jake Askew and that is that. The full-time whistle goes. It's disappointing to lose. Uh, but as you say, the hard work begins now. And I, I suspect we've pr probably been going on for a while anyway. But uh, I suspect during the next week there'll be a number of different announcements. And uh, 